Now I know say a lot of you will be asking, say where did they mention Gabi or Chidaku's name? But then we are going to treat this issue very critically, and we are going straight to what is going on, and we will let people know what is really going on. In fact, on social media for the past two weeks, you no, know, Gabi or Chidaku has been trending. I know a lot of people will not know the issue or why Gabi or Chidaku is been trending. Now, the president's family member, you no, know, he is one of the most controversial uh, public figures in terms of obi or ben the president but this past few weeks you know a video has been trending and a story has even been trending and the herald even carried the story ah story in an air purchase a Ghanaian official our more purchase of ben the akufuado family oko uk now a broke oko uk no the kind of 1.5 million pounds a koye your money the real me beside and say what was the issue and how the quiet then or say a for business and going to purchase certain things at what landina or the baby business at what ghana then again or some bag ghana be more or some corner and or sandy a whooping amount of 50 million pounds again a quiet now nipo di can break his story you know a yeah a yeah quick one and the former net two tv a year presenter now even though he did not specifically Mention Gabi Ochidaku's name. No, we believe said this was a fair targeted thing against him. And Oko social media it has been trending to the extent say, uh, even Imani Ghana they came out with a, a statement and now more party say, say now who wonders, say UK authorities investigate prominent Ghanaian figure over big money movement. Then Edia a buyer now will be a can want some a Gabi Ochidaku. Now there's a video I remember one question. Yeah, more just a video new year. I'll let you, I'll give you an update on how Minokas, the UK authorities, have exonerated Gabi Ochedako. Now, they didn't mention him by name, but all these things are air course, you know, it has exonerated him because currently, you know, UK4 responded, UK4 responded, they have 50 million pounds. Ah, Ghana, journalists, uh, Kukwana, Omo Alej, you know, the truth behind it is something really different. But as an initial video here, yeah, but we continue this whole conversation. Sikani is London right now, Mene Mokase. And we have triggered our foreign Asemiba. Asemiba. A high profile person be our being. Very high profile. Oftentimes, a normal friend, the Prime Minister. Yeah. Now, gauge the space. Already, at transfer, yes, a transfer or the good charter flight, 1.5 million United States dollars or the Okudu London. Okudu, the London Metropolitan Officials, you know, they started questioning him. As someone walk and he said, Oh, and yeah, the process of contract to be and we see can't just or the baby invest to us. Ah, they accepted. Then the next move, you know, was this a 15 million pounds sterling or the Okudu London and the money. Has been impounded. And almost on for contract in one year, man, on femra. On for contract in a more years is kind of femra. And I don't like it. Then, uh, so a solicitor for support from uh, Eva Ghana Revenue Authority, a topmost officer, be all. So on young crowd and officers, you know, be the Adnidun, a Pasca, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Sikani, see London right now, Menemokasi. And we have triggered our foreign partners in some serious. Intelligence investigation, yeah, the details of Abraham. Who is behind the SCK? Yeah, we need to go through London. Yeah, in Timim Fenwaha, Aka, the land, the British Metropolitan Authority needs them 15 million pounds sterling. Then the SCK will go home. Ha, and I'm going to route too far. Baby, I'm better than I was signed the Aka back. And I contract Ben, folks. And I'm a casual. Okay, so this was what a uh, justice Kweku and then has said. But one thing that uh, a uh, very controversial and it's a opposite is uh, an occurrence in the same way. You know, Twitter was on fire because look what Twitter is here uh, and uh, the previous days ago uh, he was trending. Not just him, among four points, he said, Yes, they are aware of such a matter. And the person uh, they were pinpointing was Kabi or Chedako, even Bryce Simmons, uh, Simmons of a uh, Imanica and opposite way on social media. Or say, he or say. There are dark rumors circulating in Accra regarding politically exposed Ghanaian figure encountering issue with British airport customs over the movement of millions of sterling without the required paperwork. There's a frantic search for the reliable source. Uh, there's a frantic search for reliable sources underway. 
we and a bright simons a post here in other messages he was prompting the Ghanaian authorities and even journalists to take note and expose this figure but then on social media not the all the fingers were pointing at this particular man gabby ochidako so what did they do now this is where gabby ochidako was kind of exonerated or vindicated say on first kb and kobe be a on any business now all year on kubi opiesika City FM City News, they did their own investigation. They are saying, say, uh, they did their own investigation. They are saying, say, they will actually go to uh, yeah, the UK High Commissioner and also uh, go back to the UK Customs Office and ask for verification as to who it is because when you say uh Bruni de Bruni de won't chantro Bruni de he will not keep things so city new city fm actually did that thing and they went and dig in and asked the UK authority say is there any prominent Ghanaian figure Ah, so prominent Ghanaian figure no eh what all this keep ya ba a 50 million pounds are on to me accounted for it was some back room ha or babaji a year uh, if any say records from the Ghana uh, Revenue Authorities to back his claims in the Bayer or your backers who scan our and your money laundering and uh, the UK authorities for say, say same way we will actually uh, respond to it. So, in a record, and I say in a full lengthy letter, no, the UK uh, commissioner and the UK tax force have actually report uh, if anything. Uh, responded to this particular case uh, and this is the shocking thing that they are saying now before i even move on i'd like to put this on the screens because it's very important so be who the also and what is really going on even how this particular uh thing even happened now yeah if i went to screen so oh sure i'll say no record of 50 million seeds from ghana this is coming from the uk authority so this is where we are seeing said uh, this whole thing at uh, course you know, it is one big giant uh, yeah, uh propaganda and as a controversy uh, it had no bearing there's no truth in it and obviously you no know, uh, people just wanted to use the name and that's the good name of Gabi Ochidako they wanted to drag his name into the mud why because he's an ardent uh, political critic of the National Democratic Congress in the end to me and you know and we are going to tie his name to a scandal send a baby good in him as a send a bear and then they will implicate him because we search for any implications we could not find so if you could not find any implications you create one if you can't find one you create one that is how the political system scandal works again you know, yeah, share the details of this particular one also the uk financial intelligence unit and the uk immigration previously the uk border agency have denied knowledge of claims suggesting that 50 million have been impounded from an individual from ghana in fact uk you could crown out the 15,000 pound square you bet so you bet this canal if you can provide a valid reason so how much more even 15 million one million okay my open room room because that will be a year money laundry again following checks by city fm both agencies uh, to verify the claims the two agencies stated that they have to they have no record on any such amount seized from any Ghanaian. Rumors on social media suggested a prominent Ghanaian figure of the ruling new patriotic party was apprehended in the UK with 15 million impounded uh, from him. However, the UK Financial Intelligence Unit and the UK Immigration have stated that they have no records of any money being seized from any individual in Ghana. And this particular individual has been trending purportedly uh, being the main figurehead or the suspect in this whole hash money and as a money laundering case, a Gabi Ochidako. And the good news is Gabi Ochidako, as at now, no, he has been exonerated. So uh, if there's any person behind this propaganda, perhaps go back do your research again and come back again with a better story but as it is now no we will not sit here and concord and put things on people are uh, just for political gains we might not you may not like the new patriotic party handling of a uh, current economic affairs but that doesn't mean say you uh, have false reportage stories just for our political gains and also our mischievous propaganda we'll give you more updates as all of these events unfold